Hello guys, welcome to Alien Programmer. In this video, we are going to talk about list. So, list. What is list? List are Python's most flexible order collection data type. List can contain any type of data such as numbers, strings, and even other lists, which is unlikely in the strings. List are mutable objects, so they may be changed. And list is denoted by two this type of bracket. It's called a square bracket. List is denoted by square brackets. So let's begin. If we can create a variable and put a this type of numbers in it in the bracket. So it's called as list. List of one, two, three, four numbers. We can do as much as we can. Okay. So if you want to execute this and only write test it will execute one two three four it's good we can also do slicing or indexing like if you want only first character of the list then only type the index number that start with zero i already mentioned in the previous video zero one two three four so you will get the first number you will if you want the last number you can simply type 0 1 2 3 simply type 3 in the bracket you will get the last number from this you can also do slicing i already mentioned this 0 2 3 it will give you the first three result 1 2 3 if you want the number starting from second like uh, 0 and 1 1 2 to the four it will give you the two three four number so you can do any operation like variables in this variable it's also called as list variables okay you can also do the basic operation like declare a list name test like used and you can also write names in this list as well as you can also write string plus number into here both in this execute one names two okay did you understand what i mean the 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 value is changed now first test is already have the value one two three four and now test have one names and two we can also multiply list by something like this just mention two names like a b c in this and like one two three okay then if you want to multiply this for three times then print demo multiply by three Okay, that's magic. It's very cool. If you want to like add to list, you can also add this in this manner demo. The list I mentioned in the ninth operation and the taste. That's list I mentioned in the seventh operation. You can do this type of thing. Then ABC123 plus one names and two are both are in one list. Okay. After this, we're gonna talk about the mutability of the list. Like, what can we do? Like, there are many functions that we can apply on the list. First of all, we will create one list for taste one is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is taste one. What is mutability? Mutability means we can add and remove, pop or push any of the element in list. So list are mutable. We can change the list as per as per your requirement. Like if you want to append in something in taste, then simply write 
append and the number like if you want to append 20 in the list and simply like this it's executed and just write list 1 it's appended wow it's cool okay if you want to sort if you mention some list like again I'm writing the demo for sorting method if you write any variable in any manner like this then you apply taste to dot short then if you write taste to it automatically sorted the taste is 231 is and it's automatically sorted in this manner if you want to remove any object like pop just write index number of this like if you want to remove the 2 then write the index number 0 and 1 then enter enter it 2 is removed now from the list you can see that it's very easy it's very easy methods you can also do reverse method in this like taste dot reverse okay taste to dot reverse so taste two will be reverse six five four three one two is not mentioned because it's already popped from the our list so you can do this type of operation in the in the list so it's called as mutable so lists are mutable i also give you the example of the mutability like this these are the method of mutables reverse sort pop append you can also remove any element from the list like simply write remove and uh, the value of that like if you want to remove 5 from the string from the list so it will remove automatically by this method okay that's easy so thank you guys for watching this video and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this video please let me know in the comment box below and do not forget to like share and subscribe to the alien programmers for the new tutorials and new videos thank you guys